Hi everybody. Um, but today I might show you some of the things in my office. So I've been working um, saw a few patients this morning, but this afternoon I've been my computer writing. It's just kind of really gotten to me. Um, my eyes are just very red, and bloodshot, and blurry. So I have to take a break. Um, but uh, I've had people ask me, why do I have all these things in my office? So it's not because I went out and bought them. It's because people gave them to me. Some people, various people have thought I needed various things in my office for some reason. So I thought I'd show you some of the things that I have, uh, just so that you don't think that I'm as weird as I really am. So one of the things I always keep in my office is pictures of my family. So these are my favorite little grandchildren, all in one little picture. It's almost a year old. Uh, not quite, I don't think. And then picture from this last Christmas. And that's my first grandson helping me plant a tree. I always like that picture. And then my two older grandchildren who always give me their school pictures every year. And I update them in my office. Then I have pictures of my mom and dad. But see, there's a KU um, uh, plate that was given to me by a patient. And other pictures of my family. And a KU... Um, lamp that was given to me by family and then a hand painted KU mural given by Danielle um, who unfortunately passed away about five years ago. Uh, interesting thing is that her son was born a couple of days after my uh, granddaughter Chloe so they're about the same age and I never will forget that but um, but she gave that to me, and I always like to keep things that I get from patients. And then some of these were given to me because I've been around here for so long. And some are given to me because I just like them, like the, my poster there. And then Dr. Bones was a gift to me from Sharon. She always felt like I needed something at Halloween. And then Mr. Mouse, he, he's something that I got years ago when we went on a family vacation to, um, uh, to I went to Baltimore and I found this little nice little shop, all kinds of little stuffed things. For some reason, I just uh, picked out a stuffed mouse. Well, actually, that's the only thing that Marta would let me actually buy, and I have to keep it at work. I usually keep him by my computer because he's my lucky mouse. And then uh, some things that I've done through organizations, and I get little plaques for that. And some I've kept, some I just kind of stuff in a box because I just don't have any room for it. And wedding pictures and other uh, things, uh, visiting professorship plaques, uh, more, a few books. But books are kind of obsolete anymore. I mean, do a lot of stuff by online and in journals. And um, and then on my desk, I have a picture that was sent to me. Um, this is my best friend from when I was growing up. He and I got into a lot of trouble together, Bob. We, we had a lot of fun. Unfortunately, Bob passed away a few years ago. And his wife sent me this picture as part of a commemoration, and I keep that on my desk. She and I were really, really good friends, and unfortunately, you know how things go over the years. You both go different ways, and you don't see each other so often. But um, when you get together, it's just like you haven't even been away. So um, I like looking at that picture. It's very comforting to me. And then <clears throat> I have some various things from my family. People write me notes, and I've kept those. Um... And then uh, I have some other little toys that people give me. Over here is, um, was a gift from my nephew who um, had this flag flown over Camp Victory in Iraq and sent it back to us. Then my other nephew, who was a victim of the 
Iraqi war. Uh, he unfortunately um, uh, came back and could not get over his PTSD and unfortunately committed suicide in 2012. Uh, so I keep a picture of him uh, in memory of him. He served the, the U.S. and uh, as you know, unfortunately, we have so many young uh, veterans from that war that are uh, committing suicide. And um, so I try to support efforts to help support um, those young men suffer and women suffering from PTSD. So this is just some of the stuff in my office just to let you know. And, and the I things were given to me many years ago. I can't even remember by who. Because uh, I just think I like practical jokes, which, as most of you know, I'm not much of a practical joker. So, um, so when I came to work here, they turned me into one. Yep, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So I hope you're all doing okay out there. And remember, wear your mask. Have a good day. Bye.